Artificial intelligence based on deep neural networks is fascinating, to say the least. It can converse, drive cars, beat video games, even paint pictures and detect some types of cancer. But how these machines do the things they do is mystifying, even for the scientist who created them. Here are the basics of how we know a deep neural network is constructed. There's an input layer, an output layer, sorting through maybe images or numbers or words, and at least one hidden layer in between. Each layer performs specific types of sorting and ordering data. Deep neural networks can work with unstructured data and reach conclusions or make predictions with it. Deep neural networks learn from one data analysis to the next. After a network has learned from thousands of sample dog photos, let's say, it can identify dogs in new photos as accurately as people can. Identifying a dog might sound really simple, but remember, we're talking about a computer here, a machine completely self-taught. And using AI, that machine can learn to recognize different types of dogs, a French bulldog versus a basset hound. Multiply that analysis thousands of times over and consider this example from the New York Times. A computer program using a deep neural network deciding whether to give you a loan would look at your income, maybe credit history, marital status, your age, but given millions of cases to consider along with their outcomes, the network could figure out when, for example, to give more weight to age and maybe less to income until it's able to analyze a range of situations and accurately predict how likely each loan is to default. But here's the challenge. It's not clear how deep learning algorithms arrive at their conclusions. The lack of transparency makes it hard to root out bias or algorithmic errors. Think of doctors. They need to know how a program arrives at a cancer diagnosis, or any diagnosis for that matter. You can't just take it on faith. Companies are pushing for more explainable AI or transparent AI. The goal is deep neural networks that can explain the way they think. We already know there's not gonna be a one size fits all solution because there's just a huge variety of network designs, but there are two basic procedures you can use. First, the network can either show which variables led to its decision or the users could adjust the data and then see if that changes the conclusion. Beyond the wow factor of AI, we need a high confidence factor also before giving machines the keys to our defense and medicine and finance. It'll cost a pretty penny for their thoughts, but it's invaluable as our futures become increasingly conjoined.